Hello, it's Wally from Where's Wally? And I'm in Barama. Oh, I don't think I'm meant to tell you that, am I? Hmm, oh, I'm not being very good, Wally. It's really Mrs. Cupid. And I'm here to read you a story. Now, I've chosen this story because I have three beautiful boys, but they were all very different and they still are very different. They had different interests and different talents and very different personalities. And sometimes they would wonder whether they should be more like their friends or more like each other. And I'd say, no, you are perfect the way you are. And there's a place in the world for you all. And this book sort of has the same message, which is why I like it. It's called Too Loud Lily. Everyone told Lily Hippo she was too loud. Lily Hippo, keep it down, please. I can't hear myself think, said Dad. Lily Hippo, sing quietly, you wake the baby, said Mum. Lily Hippo, you make more noise than a herd of wild elephants, said Lily's big brother. she's reading. Lily tried doing something very quiet. <laughs> I think it must be a very funny book. Lily Hippo, not so loud, they all said. At school, Lily's best friends were Hester and Lou. Oh, look. Sometimes even Hester and Lou were cross with Lily. She was too loud. Then a new teacher came to Lily's school. Her name was Miss Lupiola and she wore a big red poncho. She taught music and drama. Lily liked Miss Lupiola. She decided to be in the school play. On the first day of rehearsals, Miss Lupiola taught everyone a fast stomping dance. Lily tried to do the dance very quietly. Wonderful work, called Mrs. Lupioli. But could you try stomping just a little louder this time, please? Lily really liked Mrs. Lupiola. Lily stomped a lot harder. Magnificent, cried Mrs. Lupiola. Lily Hippie, Hippo, would you like to lead the dance? Lily loved Miss Lupiola. Lily got the job of crashing the cymbals and banging the drums for the storm noises. Growling and roaring for the fierce lion noises, cackling and screeching for the wicked witch noises, singing the song about the very brave prince and clapping in time to all the music. On the night of the play, Lily was very nervous. What if she could forgot what to do? What if she tried to speak and no words came out? Or even worse, what if she was too loud? Lily could fear, feel her heart thumping and her knees shaking. The room was very, very quiet. Everyone was waiting for Lily. Go on, Lily, we whispered Mrs. Lupiola. Nice and loud. <gasps> Lily took a deep breath. Let the show begin, 
she said in her loudest stage voice. Lily did her best fast stomping. Her best crashing and banging, her best cackling and screeching, and her best singing and clapping, her best rowling and roaring. And everybody loved it. Hooray for Lily Hippo, they cried out. The sound of all that clapping and stamping and cheering was very special and very, very loud. A bit like Lily. I think she's worn out. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you always remember, be yourself, and there's a place in the world for everybody.